What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Grifflands. Let's finish this week off with a little a little uh daily challenge. Boss rush negotiation. Alright. Playing as Griff's draft a starting negotiation deck of ten cards. Uh you can no longer skip card drafts, no longer offer card rewards. That's not even true. You're gonna give us card rewards anyway. Cycle through your negotiation deck twenty times. Alright. Win the challenge without upgrading any cards. Not very likely. Play no cards in the first turn of every combat. Alright, we can try. I can see us trying Brain Rack and take your shot. Uh, Cheapskate is going to be a, probably going to be a no from me. I will play on hard though because I'm not a medium dude. All right, I'm a raising. I'm a hard dude. Uh, renowned, very easy to make work. Let's see. Go between is the better of the out cards available there. Let's get more renowned en enabled cards. Now we just need cards that give us renown. That'd be great. Pursue. Fantastic. Works in every deck. Let's get a little block for us. Now, if you would please give me some renown uh, creators, that, that'd be great. That would be great. Double entendre can be very helpful. We've had to do great things in the past. Destroy a friendly argument. Destroy a random opponent argument. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Give me crass. Draw three cards, discard two random ones. It can be good for deck cycling. And we do want to get around to our executive card very often. Another renowned en enabled card. And a one action, return it to your hand. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so we never got what we were looking for. However, I'm thinking, do we pivot and take Unyielding? Anyone actually draw back? No, no, no. Because all we need is one of those uh, cards that you don't, it's unplayable, but when you draw it, it gives you like one Renown or something, and we'll be fine. Start of each turn, discard any number of cards and draw that many new ones. Amazing, kind of. That's kind of amazing, just like choose your hand every turn. Start of each turn, draw one extra card for each card in your hand at the... Blah, 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 blah. That's too many. That's too much draw. Whenever you fully mitigate damage and sub to one doubt. No. Give me the dynamic reset. Being able to choose our hand every turn is kind of nutty. Okay. What are you doing this turn? We don't know. I do know that I don't need Crass. Don't need... We don't have Renown yet, so we don't need this. Don't need you. A little block, a little attack. Give me some, some other stuff. Okay, so with three actions, a little block on her face, a little smack of the base, and get our little go-between out there. We take one, but we got some nice setup. Now, you can go away. A double entendre will be good for protection. Let's... Yo, oh, okay. Double entendre and pursue. That's I'm remembering now. That's the synergy that we want. That we want. So if you don't mind, I'm going to smack you. I'm going to bring back the double entendre. I'm going to smack you again. And that's plenty of block for us. We love to see it. Pursue double entendre. It's it's a dream combo, and with our ability to just kind of cycle through our deck super quickly, we're in a fantastic spot. As a matter of fact, dominance and one vulnerability gets canceled out by double entendre, so it's it's just good. This is just good for us. With only three actions, however, and the pursue in hand, I'd rather make the pursue play. So go ahead and destroy. You must tonic target Sonic Decoy. You son of a. Okay. Okay, this this still works for us. This still works for us because that's four block. And we bring it back. We're doing great. We're we're just gonna be invincible with those two cards. We're invincible. And I already forgot to uh, not take <laughs> to play no cards in the first turn of battle. Um, uh, stupid. Please forgive me. Get rid of all that. We just want to see Pursue and Double Entendre. It's the easiest... It's the easiest deck ever constructed. And then you bring it back. And you make it stronger. And you just 
destroy whatever argument you want to. We can play Ransack just, just to get it out there. Let's get some experience on it. I don't even know what's happening, but you got hurt like real badly that turn, and that makes me kind of feel great. Okay, you're guaranteed dead. So, let's get a little experience on our cards. And then we'll just bust you. Easy. Very easy fight. Upgrade no cards. We might not need to upgrade any of our cards, okay? Maybe maybe we can get that cheapskate actually going. Okay? We'll, we'll hold off on the upgrades for now. We took no damage. Well, we took one damage. But we're fine. Whenever friendly argument is destroyed, never gonna happen. Uh, conductor, no thank you. Six max resolve, no, no thank you. You know what? I'll decline. I'll decline and we move on. Double your run. We can't skip this, okay? Whenever an argument is destroyed, instigate. Increases to get by one and draw a card. I read this every time because I've never taken it and I don't know how you work. Friendly argument is destroyed, not gonna happen. Gain renown equal to twice its cost. I think our double entendre is a strong enough card that we don't need to worry too much about renown. Okay? Apply two composure to our friendly. Never an argument is destroyed. Increase since to get by one and draw a card. At eight, I think we can make it work. We skip the heal because we don't need it. Uh, Urkrow, you're gonna you're gonna help me with this next negotiation. And let's see. Double entendre for certain. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Okay, we can create an argument. Got three in our face. No thank you. No thank you. We have no renown, so we're not drawing anything. But thanks for that. Just just do damage. Not not a very interesting turn. However, we can play pursue right away. Go between do we want it? We can we can take it. It doesn't bother me. You know what? I would rather draw I'd rather draw our double entendre. Let's go ahead, attack this. Gives us nice block. We should definitely have played instigate first. And we put a little composure right here. Slow turn, slow turn, but it's a setup. And with instigate, we're gonna bust so many arguments. It's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. You just gotta trust me. None of this is any good cycle through our deck. Where is our double entendre? You didn't give it to us? That's very rude of you. It kind of ruins everything that we got going. However, you can get busted up. Okay, that gave us draw? Excuse me? Am I, am I stupid? Increase inst instigate by one and draw a card. Okay, I am kind of stupid, but that's fine with me. Our influence is getting busted. We don't really use influence, but so be it. Let's pursue Networker back so we can bust up this. It gives us draw. Thankfully, we didn't draw a double and ton. Um, yeah, we didn't need that. We didn't need that. What we do need, all of this gone, okay? These are our dream cards. And then, Please do not set your gas on fire. Let's gain dominance. Hit you. Gain five block. We're not taking any damage. If we can bring back double on pond. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just want to keep this deck as thin as possible. Get out of here, uh, get out of here, and you can go as well. There's Pursue, there's Double Entendre. I would like to have one more energy, please. Get, just be gone, please. You're already not hurting us. Play Pursue, 
We didn't get double entendre back, but that's actually okay. Because this will destroy you. And we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Yeah, this deck just needs cards that um, are activated when drawn. Those unplayables, and we that's our best form of scaling. If we could get you out of here, get you out of here... Any cards that expend are also great because that increases our turnover rate. Uh, that's just 8 damage. It'd be dumb not to play it, right? Even if it messes up our double entendre circle. There you go, we're all safe. Cycle through our cards real quick. 8 damage to the face, I don't mind. Easy victory, I don't mind. We're soon double entendre, we're not, we're not upgrading, we don't need to. Now. Whenever your renown is removed or destroyed, whenever you gain dominance, deal one damage. First time your core takes damage, ignore it and make it bounce back. I'm thinking we don't gain dominance really. We have one card that enables it, but not really. We don't gain renown either. I'm thinking this is another skip. And I don't mean to be the world's greatest, you know, World's greatest gamer, but I don't, I don't think that was necessary. We're, go we're going for a high point total. Now, Amplify is a little bit of a trap. It, it works. It works. But I don't think we want it. However. Yeah, I don't want Revision. I definitely don't want Who. <clears throat> A1 action, return it to your hand. I think I think we take these cards, because Unyielding, if we time it right, can pay for itself. Instigate is a fine argument to create, because we destroy plenty of arguments. And Fall Guy will just never play. Our health is fine, so we skip. Let's remove a card for certain. What are we getting rid of? Let's get rid of... Influencer. Never gonna happen, right? Get out of here, you stink. What up, egg boy? Uh, get... You can get replayed. All the rest of you can get out of here. Do we want the dominance? You know, I'm, I'm not opposed. So... They have less than six Shrugalits, create two new ones. Gotcha. Okay, card cycles back, you'll love to see it. Card cycles back, you'll love to see it. We're taking four. Let's go ahead and set up a bit for the future. Did give us two block. It's fine. I might just save the flourish for the final boss, but we'll see. Uh, Renown can get out of here. You, you all kind of stink. Okay? Gonna be honest, there's like four cards I care about. Now, you're getting targeted. Let's see. We cannot improvise our double entendre because it's in the wrong part of our deck. That being said, we improvise a card. It'll give us ad lib, and an ad lib does four damage, I believe. So, we have no means of gaining. We do have means of gaining block. The Q -Hosa. Applied it to the wrong argument. But you know what? Go ahead and create both of those. We'll just get you in the future. It's fine. Those That can get busted up. It wasn't a big deal. You be gone. You can all just be out of here. Yeah, just, just be not in my area. Do not exist. Do not perceive me. First off. This gets busted up. Okay. It brings itself back. You love to see it. You get busted up. Next on the list. We definitely want to... Do we have Pursuit in hand? We do. So let's play our double entendre. That's two block for everybody. And then we bring it back with Pursuit. Would you look at that? Everyone's feeling just fine. I go through our cards real quick. 
and here we are again. Very simple flowchart. Unyielding gets played on the little dudes. You know what? Let's uh. No, 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 no. Just don't, don't, don't mess with it, dummy. And yielding gets played on the little dudes. Infinite draw. Play double entendre on the shrew clock. You play pursue. You bring back, bring back double entendre. That's not how that works, my guy. You're gonna take one damage. We'll live. We'll live. It's fine. That being said, get busted. Now, no more shrugs means we just want defense and pursue. Okay? That's all we care about. Ah, uh, yep. Bring it back. Ah, uh, yeah. And you ransack so you can cycle through it and bring it on back. These are going to pop soon and do a ton of damage. We are doing fantastically. So, low chart. You see a little shruglet? Pop it with unyielding. We got our we got our arguments to pop, which is great. We want to just target face now, because if we draw correctly and roll a little high. You're dead next turn. You're gonna make an, you're gonna make a little shruglet, and that's gonna be your own death. Son of a! It, it doesn't matter. Just play any. He got you. Very good fight. How many? We cycled through our deck 19 times. All right. And I'm not upgrading. You can't make me. Whenever you play four diplomacy cards in a row, not gonna happen. Duplicate the first argument you create every negotiation. I can see a point in that if we make another. Instigate, that'd be kind of cool. <sighs> Five Renown, doesn't matter. So Simulacrum, Simulacrum is an improvement to our deck. Whenever your core argument is attacked, deal three damage. Who cares? Who cares? When drawn, reduce the cost of a random hostile card in your hand by one until play. I don't, I don't like any of these. This is this these are all going to water down our deck. Ransack might be fine. Destroy your friendly argument. Blah, 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 blah. I feel we actually, despite Simmer being kind of useful, I think we take these because they expend if we ever find ourselves in a in a situation where we can play them, then they can expend themselves from our deck. Dissect does have a, a useful uh, use condition with Instigate. Get a bunch of those out in the field. Fall Guy is not for us, but it's fine. Let's skip the heal one more time. Gain little Telomere over here. If things go badly, we do have our Flourish still. Instigate is exactly what we were looking for. Let's see about getting... Well, let's see what's happening in turn one. First card played, played twice. We're going to make a frick ton of Instigates. Okay. Yeah, 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 because of our Simulacrum. So we got three of those out there. We are going to be hurt. What are we going to do about that? Nothing. We're just we're gonna take some damage. It's fine. We are going to then pursue Networker. Hit you a little bit. That's fine. It's a slow-ish turn one, but we we're, we're going places. All right, just trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Now you don't have a lot of arguments, so even footing's not great. Whip can get out of here. All guy can get out of here. Okay. Who are you hurting? You are hurting one of our instigates. I'd rather you didn't. I'm gonna be honest, I wish I wish you wouldn't. How do we create enough block for you? Do we have pursue in hand? We do not because it's in our deck. So let's hit you with the double entendre. And okay, that's two block for everybody. You're almost surviving. 
Ransack? Give me, give me a pursue, you son of a... Alright. Alright. Put some standing on that instigate. Get another instigate out there. Okay. Alright, that's our setup. Is done. Every time we destroy an argument, things are gonna start. We're gonna we're gonna be in a sick place. All right, give me the pursue. Get this out of here. Dissect might be useful. Double entendre. Love to see it. So play it. Bring it back. Play it again. Plenty of defense for everybody. Nobody's getting hurt. Yeah 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 yeah. So this deck could also use some dominance. That would be very helpful. Just for making double entendre do more damage and thus give us more block. But unyielding is in a great place. Get out of here. There's like, like I said before, there's like three cards that we actually play in this deck. And I would like them back, please. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go. Uh, none of this is what we want. So, if you could please... If you could please not put double entendre and straight into the trash, that'd be great. <clears throat> You're taking eight. Let's block for a bit. We can't choose. We can't choose where this block goes. All right. So and so, yeah, frickin' piece of, yeah, jerk. We're gonna lose one instigate. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's fine. I'm not crying, you're crying. Uh, you lived? Excuse me? Am I bad at math? Maybe? Okay. You know... I'll live with it. You're taking nine. We want to... Do we want to duplicate an argument? We want to draw, dude. But we don't have the means to do so. Random friendly argument gets exposure, and you're getting targeted. We put a little block on you. Okay. Your damage goes down for every card we play. That's why you survived. I'm a genius. Let's dissect. A little instigate here. Yeah, it's fine. It'll 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 live. It's it's great. Now double entendre. Glad glad you're back. Let's. Get all this out of here. I would like you to create arguments. You're not, you're just... You're not, okay? I block on everybody, and then we pursue. And we got five more block on everybody. You are going to take 12, you're going to survive. I am a genius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's not perfect. But, it's working. Get all of this out of here. I need either better blocks. Dude, I need you to make arguments that I can blow up. Really, it's, this is not working for me. Put it on a random target. Put this on you. Go ahead. In our deck a bit. You're popped. Not much we can do about it, but that should proc everybody else by one, which means you get a ton of draw. And with a ton of draw, we're guaranteed to have our little double entendre pursue moment. Get, get all this out of here. Be, be gone. Do not exist in my area. You may double entendre expensive. You son of a gun. How, how dare you? The one thing you could do to ruin my deck. You know what? Cycle it back. Pop him. It gives us plenty of draw. Double entendre's back and it's cheap. Okay. What does that actually do for us? I realize now that this deck is not powerful, it just doesn't die. Which I'm kind of cool with. I'm very cool with the idea of uh, not being dead. Draw and discard. What did we discard? Double entendres in there. Pursue it back. It's, it's not what I said, my guy. I said pursue it back. All these zero cost plays are reducing the damage that he's doing, but we're not 
in a great spot yet. Let's see if we can protect the instigate here. It means more to us. And then we just play for six damage. Not much else going on there. We could flourish. We could... Hmm. Remove it from the argument and create two with twice as much max resolve. I think all of these would be good. They, these all have a place. Except for... Where's Curveball? Curveball probably doesn't have a place for us. Recompose your all and then deal six to opponents. Not gonna be it. So by all of them have a place, I just mean Inner Rage and Rebuild are both kind of appealing. We don't have energy to play our hostility cards. So, you will survive. You are dead. You're gonna survive. We're gonna draw a bunch because of all the instigate going on. My god, would you please just be dead? Cycle, cycle through all of this, okay? Get out of here. Just be, bring that back. It reduces the damage that he does. Uh, he has no arguments out there. Of course. Okay. I need to speed this up. I'm losing my mind. It's played twice. Oh, what a fantastic. That's, that's beautiful. Play this twice. Oh, let's go. And just cycle. Just cycle through. My god. Okay. Nothing upgraded. I will rest after this in order to cap off our resolve. Whenever you play three manipulate cards in a row, nope. Whenever any argument is removed or destroyed. Mm. Okay. Okay. Whenever this argument takes damage, deal that much to an opponent. Destroy a friendly, destroy a random enemy. Another double entendre? Choose a card in your hand and double its damage. Okay, we take... We take. Rehearsal, if it if we can get it to double, to target double entendre, can put us in a fantastic spot. Add another graph slot? Yo, that does nothing for us. It's actually useless. We're, we're at the end. It's done. Upgraded card? We're not upgrading, okay? We are going to debate the Grout Monster. So, how are we starting? Well, we got the ideal, okay? We got the ideal. We're taking 13 to start with. That's actually fine, okay? Smack him. Bring it back. Smack him again. I wish we had more energy. I wish at any point we got energy, but we didn't live. Now, they do create arguments, and I should really read what those arguments do. But for now, get, get out of here. Need to figure some stuff. Looks angry and is attacking with appendages. At the end of their turn, remove one writhing appendage. That's two to three damage every turn. Got it. Let's instigate. What is this? If destroyed, deal six damage to my core. At the end of this turn, remove one bog boil. Got it. So we just protect it. Let's draw and cycle because none of this is appealing. Fall guy could target the bog boil, which would be terrible for us. So let's just do our best to pop one of you. So that means we play this because it'll do one damage. Guarantees we can pop you. All right. Okay. Okay. We are in a bad spot. Not gonna, not gonna mess around. We're in a bad spot. Get all of this out of here. If we can draw, I don't. We just need uh, what's it called? Double entendre. Okay. Double entendre and rehearsal saves us. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. So hold on. Now I gotta think. Three composure. Okay. And then to a random? Why why is all my defense random, my guy? 
Wrong target. Okay. 9, 12, 14 damage. 15. Let's let's go worst case scenario. We'll we'll live. We will live. We're 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 living, okay? I didn't even see the bog boil getting attacked. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. I need double entendre to just do work right now. Okay. Let's hope that we get the double damage card, whose name I do not remember. We're not getting attacked this turn. Let's freaking go. Rehearsal. Double entendre. Nine damage. Beautiful. What is this? Targets from the art. You're terrible. Double entendres in hand. Never mind, I'm fine. No no stress whatsoever. I am perfectly content. Do we play instigate? <clears throat> What's happening this turn? What do you guys do? Restore to resolve to a core argument? <clears throat> okay. Double entendre will keep us all safe. So we instigate one to thin our deck two to help us cycle through as fast as possible we cut this to get more draw and such and then we pop you nine block on everything let's go ahead and let's not ransack yeah let's not ransack because we want double entendre circling around again it's here in hand, so let's just stay, stay cool, stay calm, cool, collected. All right, not taking any damage this turn. Love to see it. Love to see it so much. Let's try to make it stronger. Didn't work, but that's fine. That is totally okay. Let's just do our best to draw it this turn. Yeah, all of this, all of this needs to go. It's not in hand, you're taking 11. We have a decent amount of block. You have no arguments, so. Random target. Okay, you're taking 11. You are not, you're taking two. It's okay, it's a holding pattern turn, not doing anything. It destroyed, hold on. Wait a second. The heck are you doing to me? Derp. Do four damage to Smith's core at the end of the turn. Move one bubble. So don't don't attack the bubbles. The first attack I play each turn has a random target. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see I see what you've done. I need a single block. As four damage would kill me. Does the composure come first or does the damage come first? This is very important. This is... This is very important. Give everybody block. Okay, so we're going to survive if we pop a bubble. We're living. I'm. I won. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what happened at the end there, but let's freaking go. 2,740 points. I still have no idea what a good score is, but we got two of the challenges completed. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything just popped off. You know what happened? I think our instigates all went off at the same time, and they just did a ton of damage. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.